about the GT Mustang was that the clutch was very easy, super smooth. Yes. And it seems to be the case with this as well. Yeah, this one's actually even a little bit easier. It's got a twin disc in it that makes it Oh, cool. kind of nice. So hello everyone and welcome. We are in the 2000, this is 16, 16. Uh, yeah. Mustang GT350. I'm here with Mark, who is the, I'll let you go ahead and give your title uh, better than I will. Yeah, so I'm Mark Schaller, the Mustang brand manager. Okay, cool. But you were also involved with uh, product development of this Mustang, so you've kind of been with it since its birth. Yeah, it's been one of those uh, kind of lucky times when your personal and professional interests happen to align, and I got to work on this car since the beginning, so it's been very special. Screams all the way to 8,250 RPM, which is quite a bit. This is a 5.2 liter. Yes, 5.2 with 526 horsepower, 429 pound feet of torque. Wow. <laughs> That's an awesome sound when you get up there. I mean, driving in these other vehicles, you can hear it. I've been behind it quite a bit, um, and you can hear it from a good distance away. It's got an awesome sound coming from it. Yeah. So, flat plane crank. Uh, maybe we can talk about why you went that route and what changes you made to the engine versus the GT Mustang in order to get the additional power out of this. Sure. Um, well, we knew we wanted, from the beginning, this was supposed to be the fastest Mustang on a road course Ford Motor Company had ever produced. Okay. And if we look back to the original 65, um, Carroll produced a, a high revving, naturally aspirated V8 uh, to help power his car and we wanted to honor that same tradition because out on a racetrack, there's nothing better than naturally aspirated power. So yeah, the it had immediate free, response. Yeah, it had to be free revving. Um, it had to be high revving, which is why it revs all the way to 8250. Um, <laughs> in order to get there, we decided to go with a unique construction of the engine, which was the flat plane crankshaft, which helps take some mass out of the internals of the engine. Um, so basically, okay. you started with a, a five liter block, and from there out, it is a completely unique engine. And that's it. The GoPro battery is dead. Thank you guys for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.